Hello and welcome to the second episode of our True Vandal campaign in Imperator Rome. So we have just taken out the Sidicians, which I'm, I probably butchered that pronunciation, other than the fact that I get it perfect as per usual. Um, no, I probably butchered that pronunciation, which is mostly why I went with Lugia. But yep, let's unpause. Let's get our troops back in our own country. Uh, manpower is okay. Uh, could certainly be better. Could be worse. Uh, we're losing the horses now, which is really quite a big shame because we can't get any more back. And none of the land that we took has horses. We need to grab this. This is too important. Maybe we should have grabbed... Oh, we did grab it. Aha! Nice. Uh, but that is in a different bloody area, which isn't good. Uh... It's really the only horses in the region, which is also really annoying. Um, so we're not going to be able to get a, another import of horses. We can't actually get an import of anything other than stone, and that is really not what we need. Actually, cancel that. We can get some wood, which would give us 3% extra taxes. Because we can't build ships. We don't have coastline. Uh, we get some wood, actually. That'd be nice. 2% uh, extra happiness. You know, I'm going to go with that. Get it from Skiria. Very nice. So, Skiria is right here. It's got some woad. We're currently converting it. We've got Elysia, which we've got a couple of provinces in, a couple of territories. Some horses, some grain. Um, loyalty is looking good. We'll get it all converted up. At the moment, we are 79% Vandalic, but with such a small population, that's uh, kind of understandable. We have claims on our ally here. We have claims on our ally over here. Probably have claims on Gathonia. Um, no claims on Semnonia. He's allied with Bastarnia and Langobardia. Who are you? You're only allied with me. Hmm. Well then, maybe Rugia could be a target then. I don't think we want to be allies with you anymore. Um... Venedia is about to break alliance with me. They're allied with Sudinoia and Saloya. Uh, maybe I can get you to come and help me against them. If they break alliance with me, do I? I don't have a claim. I don't think. So we'll grab a claim on Skidia. And we'll see if this guy wants to come and help me. And that might be good. The rights of Nahar Valorum. Uh, gain 10 political influence and some loyalty. Or we get some fertility rights for some population growth that will piss off Thurgeis, um, who is the high priest. I'm not too worried about my high priest, honestly. Although that is only in one specific territory. I don't think that's really worth it. Let's grab that political influence instead. Would have been nice if we could have taken more from you. But, ah well, what can one do? Uh, you want some woad from me? Mm, no. I don't think I'm going to give you woad. Actually, if I do give you woad, I will get an export bonus of some happiness. So I'm going to accept it with Trinavantia. There we go. So yeah, we did lose some woad. We also gain. We still have the... Uh, the the, you know, capital bonus. We have the export bonus. Uh, so everything's good there. Uh, you want some furs? I'll accept that. And you want furs? No. So I don't have enough to give you. I've only got the one extra now. Uh, over here, we're still 100%, 100%, so I don't need to worry about that. Governor policy seems fine. Um, this guy is still light infantry, which is uh, irritating, but nothing I can do about it. Um, I don't know if I want to increase my army size just yet. Uh, improved office. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and help him. Give him a couple of finesse. I'll give him some political influence for that. It seems reasonable. Uh, do I want any of this? Supply limit, I do. Import value, I do. Claim fab speed, I do. Morale recovery, I do. Those seem fairly decent. We'll take them. Uh, also, it doesn't cost us anything, I think, to drill. I gotta drill you. Has not greater than zero clan retinues. 
Excuse me? Um, I don't know what you mean by this. I wonder if I change this to heavy cavalry, will you switch? I don't know why you're not switching. It seems to be just a thing with light infantry, like they don't like switching it. So if I declared war on you, there's no claims right now. Galindia would join. But Galindia has a truce with Venedia for until 58, so three more years. That's rough. Uh, Rugia we can't declare on because, uh, you know, we'd lose stability. We don't obviously want to do that. Um, we might want to get a claim on you, and we'll grab a claim as well on Bastarnia. I mean, he has land in Lugia, and clearly that is not allowed. We are Lugia. We actually have zero of the land in Lugia, but we, we're a migratory tribe. We just migrate a little bit north. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, I might want to sacrifice to the gods at some point as well. All right, there's a claim on uh, Skidia. If I declared on you, Galindia could not join for two years more. Three years more, almost. So we can't be doing that. Um, let us go with Nehalenia again. That seems decent enough. Um, so, let's have a look around. Is there any farmland up here? I don't even think there is. No, we'd have to go to Gaul to get some farmland. So it's going to be a plains area that we want to have our capital in. And I'm looking at something like Faradenia. That might be decent. Um, Amber is alright. Um, let's have a look. Somewhere somewhere maybe a bit better. Some earthenware surplus in the capital is Freeman output. Each surplus is plus one percent um, research speed, which could stack up very nicely. That's a forest, I don't want that. Anything up here? Not really. I've got this down here, it's a marsh. That's a marsh. That's a marsh forest. Okay, there's not really that much good stuff here. We've got salt. That might work out. Each surplus in the province gives more food capacity. That could be really, really good if we got this as our capital. That might that might be exactly what we want to do. We need to take this land after all. Um, yeah. I think I'm okay with this. I think I am okay with that idea. We need to get one of these up to 10 pops so we can colonize this. Or what we could do instead is start a migration. And then we need to split you in half. Half of you settle there. The other two go here. We settle here as well and we've got some hemp. Not that we need hemp, but, you know, it's, it's nice to have nonetheless. Lovely. We could really do quite a lot with migrations and really boost our population very, very significantly. Um, it's uh, it's it's definitely a better way of expanding, or it's it's cheaper, let's say. Um, but it does cost quite a bit. I think what I will do is we'll stab a pig as soon as we get to fifty political influence. And we might start doing a little bit of uh, migration colonizing. Can we arrange marriage yet? Yes, we can. Wallaberg Ingo Hudra uh, will be my wife. Not that it's really necessary. Uh, she doesn't actually give us any extras. Tribes don't get that, you know, consort bonus, which, I mean, it's a little bit annoying. But, oh well. Uh, we will accept this trade. We don't really care about the, the hemp trade. But what we do care about is the money. There's the claim on Bastarnia and Semnonia. If we were to attack Semnonia, we'd be at war with Bastarnia and Langobardia. Which sort of seems like a bit of suicide. Six cohorts there. We've got seven co sorry, six cohorts for Bastarnia. Langobardia is bringing in five. I'd be able to bring in um, seven of my own. And Galindia would not join me. So that would be pretty bad we would definitely not be enjoying that. So I think at the moment, um, a good idea would just be to not. Not, just not, just not do that. We'll just stick with, her, stick with what we got right now. Um, if we expand a lot as well, it's gonna really hurt our tech. 
we probably should be focusing quite heavily on technology. Um, because if we don't, we're going to get lagged behind super hard. It is very easy to become very highly technological as a tribe. Um, basically, you just rip up all of your population and you pop them all in your capital. And if you get any citizens, you know, from building libraries in a city, um, plus a ton of academies, the, the most... The, the best way to go about getting tech as a tribe is just to play like you're not a tribe and abuse the tribal mechanics. Build a huge single city and that's where everyone goes and honestly it's it's horrifyingly bad and I hate it, but it is the technically best way to go. Actually, I want territory rank here instead of whatever we had. Zero cities until we get down here to Artabiga. Maybe we need a city in uh, in Germany somewhere. What do you have? Fish? Well, that would change if we were to conquer this, turn this into a city, and then this could be our capital. It might work out. What else is in here? Got some hemp and amber. We've got some livestock and cloth. And we've got some vegetables and more amber. That might work out as a city, actually, as our as our capital. Vyadrus. I'll be okay with that. We're building another bloody thing. Not happy with that. Uh, time to share with the rest of us. Do I want that? Um, mm, it's only four ducats. Nah, you can keep it. You can keep it. Need new religious advisors guy though. Uh, let's go with our brand. Go with our brand. Yeah, I think we're gonna kill Rugia. He's actually gonna get a civil war soon. We're gonna kill Rugia, and then we are going to move our capital. We're gonna get ourselves a sexy capital in uh, Viadras. Um, probably conquer a bit more, but not too much that it really hurts our tech gain. Um, into Venedia needs me to take a lot more land. Controlling Rugia, that's what we want to do. Making gains. Oh, I'm so close to actually that one. All I needed is this one territory that we didn't take. Settle Elysia. I need three cities in Elysia. Mate, I only own three territories in Elysia, and none of them are good city territories. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah, Rugia is the target, though. Uh, a truce with you is up not too long away uh, only one more year then we're going to go and attack you uh, maybe I could do with a couple more like have I do like me some like have they are my favorite unit type in the game these guys still can't drill unfortunately but we are increasing our military experience quite heftily as well Plus 66 a month is... 67 now, is actually really quite high. I like it. I like it a lot. I'd also like a lot to pass a law. So, if we go to our laws, what we want to do is get something like commerce income and then go want to go down this side as well. Wrong culture group happiness might be decent. It's not good yet, but it will be eventually. Omen power, though, that might be good for now. And we can also get kinship. Um, we can change to tribesman output or taxes. I think I might go with tribesman output. Then chiefly status. Stab change would be good. Stab change is actually really good because that lets you pass laws faster. That lets you um, move your population faster. Uh, I do like that a, a lot. Um, I'm going to go with... What am I going to go with? I only want to do one for now. I think the tribesman output plus 15% is going to be the most valuable. I mean, 
our tribesmen are the majority of our country, so that seems to be pretty good. Venedia wants another alliance, eh? I'm not okay with that. I don't I don't actually want an alliance with you. It was purely a temporary measure. We will be attacking you at some point. Rugia gains opinion of me. I don't care about Rugia's opinion of me. We're going to attack him in very, very short amount of time. So we'll move our troops into position. We see... Are you at war? No, you're not. You're just moving around. I guess you are the disloyal guy. Nope, you're not. Are you the disloyal guy? Nope. I don't know who's disloyal, but he is split over two regions, so I could be a part of it. I don't think I want this land. Not yet. I want to stay in my own region. Also, it really pisses me off that Viritium is in this region of Germania when the river so clearly dictates that it should be over here. I hate that so much. It irritates me. Anyway, we're going to attack you now. Oh, wait, what? My truce should be up. 30th of... Ah, oh, 30th of April. Okay. Please move to Viadras. That would be... That would be lovely. Please. Pretty please. Oh, well, time to attack. Taking Rugia. We could also get Galindia in on this. I don't think I need them. And we're going to get... You guys to move there. You're moving to Galindia. And then you're going to move up here. That should work out just fine. Caught his army napping. It's now dead. Uh, we killed no one. That's that's nice. The army's about to die as well. Very nice. And so is this. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Just such an easy war. It's fantastic. It cost me very little uh, to prosecute. I'll tell you what, you can go there. You can go up there. Another omen. We'll get some more slave output. I don't even know if we have very many slaves. We're up to 17 slaves, so actually it's probably still a good idea. Over here, all of the whatever religion this is, mattresses. Uh, they've all gone. Actually, is it mattress? Yes. So I'll switch to culture then, instead. Got some prosperity. I will definitely take that extra taxes. Yes, please. Thank you very much. And Rugium has almost fallen now as well. Alright, so yeah, Viadris is going to be the capital. Rugium's not a bad place either, but... Uh, it's not what we want. Gaining some stability. Uh, that would also give us centralization. I don't want centralization. I'm just going to spend a small amount of money. That seems uh, okay to me. Come on, take the freaking city already. We've got a bountiful harvest. We'll take the money this time. Because I need to save up for a city. Like, that's that's the, the way that we're going to get tech. I'm going to leave him with these two territories, and if that goes to someone over here, maybe Varnia wants to go and murder them, well, so be it. Oh, Bastarnia's uh, moved some pops. Now that is interesting. I can still attack them. He's now got 16 cohorts. Yeah, he's migrating. The, the AI actually migrates now. It's crazy. And he's got low stability from his migrations. Sacking of Regium. Very nice. So there is two pops left. If I do this, they're all going to be dead. So we're only going to do the one. And 100% at him. I don't want this. I could make him my subject as well. Uh, no, not as well. You can't take land and have him be a subject. I could make him a tributary only, and that's not good enough. So, yeah, I'm going to take Rugi and Rugia. And uh, we'll leave you alone for now. Lovely. So, Viadris. Uh, well, first off, I want to culture convert this all to Vandal, naturally. Uh, we're also going to... I need to make it 
dominant culture of Vandal, I need nothing else really other than some political influence. Uh, it'd be useless me doing this first. So we're going to leave that alone. Um, to become a city that is so expensive. Also, minor addendum, give me that stability, thank you. At least he gains food shortages. Ugh, I don't like that. I don't like spending money either, but definitely don't like what I just have to do. Right, so we've got this army. Uh, this navy is going to die. That's natural. Burgundia wants to give us an alliance. Do you have a fleet? You have four ships. You could you could transport your troops. Burgundia is immediately going to break the alliance. Naturally, that's just paradox AI in a nutshell, really, isn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay pretty much stable right now. What I might do is, considering all this place has zero pops, what we might consider doing is finding somewhere with relatively decent pop numbers. Like there's five here. Four. Yeah, let's get the one with five. Where is it? Shit, now, where is it again? There it is, right. So we'll get you. Start a migration. I'm going to take the f one of these guys away. You're going to settle again. And then we're going to split, split, and then the other guy split as well. I'm going to get these four to go here here, here, and here. And those places are going to be mine. Um, as for traditions, light cav cost is right there. That's nice. Manpower right there, though. I'm going to go with archer offensive so that I can move down this path. Zero pops, zero pops, zero pops, zero pops. And they're about to grow an extra pop. So I think this is definitely going to be worth it if we can get there in time. Uh, it is August 63. Yeah, we're going to get there in time. So gathering population, we need to disperse. We need to lose that centralization. Yes, please. Thank you. So you're going to arrive and we're going to settle. We're going to settle. We're going to settle. And then as soon as you arrive in Citadeba, we're going to settle you as well. You've just got another place. So I'm going to take you and... Oh, you need three pops to migrate. Okay. Uh, three pops of my own culture as well. So we'll migrate you. We'll get one of you guys to stay where you are. We'll get down to, I guess, here. And I don't know where his, his entire force is going. Like, Elysia has also just been decolonized I mean I could colonize this entire place then couldn't I and get that first mission done let's call it, let's get you up as well I'm gonna I'm gonna take this entire area we're gonna split you you can go to Elysia you can settle you can settle then you're going to get down to Lyricristus. And you're also going to settle as long as you don't first. He's, he's, he's off, mate. He's fucked off. Oh, yeah, you want to settle. You, you can't. Okay, okay. One of you needs to stop moving. You need to go back up here. We'll have you settle. And I guess you can settle as well. Maybe I should have put you in the capital, actually. Well, we're now a regional power, which uh, is nice. That also gives me into Venedia, which gives me slaves need for local surplus, migration attraction, and pop assimilation speed, which is nice. I get a citizen in Calicia, citizen in Vartia. Oh, I actually get more places. Ambium, Laudicum, and Vartia become mine as well. Wow, that actually grew me quite a bit. Was not expecting that. That is very interesting. So yeah, the uh, the Bastardians are fucking off, which is interesting for sure. 
I get uh, myself as a prominent family. That's nice. I lose five centralization. I gain some stability. Very sweet. Very sweet indeed. A new martial advisor will go with Sigigeus in Hogdrez uh, because he's pissed off and he's the same level, so it doesn't matter so much. And the second Lugian migration is going to go and take Campia back. At the moment, what we need to do is just get money. Oh, you become a hefty family as well. That's I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting more than one. Very, very odd. Okay. Well, we'll settle you. This is now our nation. It's a pretty decent looking size. I like it very much. Very nice. But yeah, what I want to do now is nothing, <laughs> basically, is the plan until I can get a city and start moving pops into the city. Including things like taking all of these pops that have just settled, moving them up to Viadras, and settling all of them in the city. Like, that's the way you're kind of supposed to do it. It's the most efficient way. Not that efficiency means a fucking thing. But yeah, that's just that's just how it works. So I'm gonna grab myself livestock from Elysia. We're gonna leave that alone now. You want some pop promotion speed? Hell yeah. Sounds good to me. Alright, well, with that, I am going to put a small cut in here. I hope you've enjoyed this episode so far. Uh, new series, so likes and comments are quite important. Uh, so if you wouldn't mind, that would be very much appreciated. Uh, let me know that you like the series, you like where it's going, and you're interested in seeing the future of it. So uh, just all good stuff, and you should probably should help me out in that one. So thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.